Welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be testing a disposable face mask. These are the Lucifer disposable face mask. The box looks a little rough, but it came that way. Let's go ahead and look at the listing before we go and try these on. Here is the Lucifer disposable face mask. They are a three layer mask with a layer of milk blown. That's actually very interesting. We don't really see a lot of disposable face masks with a layer of milk blown. They come in a pack of 100 face masks and they are currently sitting at a 4.6 out of 5 rating with 343 reviews. The cost of these are $8.99. Let's go ahead and try one on. I'm just gonna grab some from here since it's already open. So they all have very interesting this design on them. Let's go ahead and try these green ones. So let's open this up. They come packed in 20 per bag. So this is how they look. They have a very similar design as the surgical mask. It does feel like a cloth, but it's non-woven. The nose wire is pretty flim flimsy, but because of the price, you're definitely not gonna get a super high quality mask. Let's go ahead and pull these. Okay, so they're not gonna be the best quality masks. Let's go ahead and put it on. I'm gonna go ahead and get a new one. So here is how they look. Let's go ahead and try it on. Okay. This is how it looks on. I am getting a lot of leakage on both sides. And like I said, the nose wire is pretty flimsy, so I don't feel like I have a perfect seal. And I'm also getting some leakage on the bottom of the mask. I do know that a lot of people do this like sort of hack where you kind of make it like this so it's tighter. Let's go ahead and try that. But even like this, I feel like I'm still getting a lot more leakage now. But I guess this hack doesn't really work for me. So unless maybe you're wearing a mask fitter brace, these won't really have a great seal. But with that being said, let's go ahead and see how they test on our TSI machine. We will be testing both the filtration and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run the tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator or mask before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The TSI is now conducting its test, which tests for both particle filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. Let's go over the results. F stands for air flow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the respirator or mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The filtration percentage for all three samples was between 79 to 81%. Now that we've done the filtration procedure, as you guys saw, they all failed, so we wouldn't be able to recommend these. There is definitely better surgical masks out there, but at the end of the day, we will always still recommend for you guys to use N95 respirators. Like I mentioned, I did have a lot of leakage pretty much everywhere, and the construction quality wasn't the best. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and also found it helpful. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, as well as comment your requests down below if you would like for us to test any N95, K95, K94, or any mask out there. Please make sure to leave your requests down below. And also don't forget to check our description box down below. We will have a lot of important information, including our website, which is acumet.com, and our testing master data sheet. I'll see you guys in our next video.